What up YouTube, Dirty Ho Cards here, and I want to uh, make a video of a complaint actually. So recently I ordered some stuff off Troll and Toad, um, and this is what I got in return. Um, I got this disgusting Crystal Beast mat. So I ordered this off of Troll and Toad, um, it cost $35, and what it came was this mat, I thought it was a brand new mat. But apparently somebody like it it's already been used. Like if you look at the borders, they're all uh jagged up. Um it's 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 old, like this spillage in the middle of the mat, um mysterious like juices. I don't I don't really know what that is. Um I really this is like the first time I've ever said this, but like honestly I this is like this is like unbelievable because um I spent my hard on money on this mat and um it's disgusting like I've I, I this this mat is nasty like <coughs> damn what the fuck <coughs> like there's random s stains on it like it's it's just an old mat which I paid for a new mat so I'm I'm really disappointed on Toronto at this time but other things, other things that I ordered are, um, are they came out pretty well. Uh, another thing that I ordered was uh, this uh, Monster Protectors binder. It's the f the double pocket one, and it was four dollars, and I believe it came out really well. Based on appearance, it looks pretty cool. But inside, um, it's actually pretty cool because all the cards are snug and and uh, protected. Um, I'm not really scared of the cards falling out because because the only way to fall out is like this way. But um, it stopped right here, so there's really no point. So you know these, this this binder is really good for uh for like carrying um cards around instead of carrying a big bulky binder. So I, I believe this is a pretty good purchase for me. Um, plus it is a cool looking pink and it also has an optical illusion thing when you uh, look at it. It looks like uh, bubbly. And uh, next, we're gonna move on to the next segment, which is um, deck boxes. Um, I have uh, about five uh, varieties of deck boxes. Um, I have the uh, I have this uh, deck box, which is um, closed seal without the without the Velcro. It's a tight fit. I mean, um, this is about three dollars, which I purchased. Um, it is a pretty good deck box. Um, if you are a uh, like a rookie or something, I would get this, or just or you just want to protect your cards. It's about three dollars. It's uh, virtually cheap. Um, plus, it looks cool, uh, especially this yellow one. And um, yeah, next deck box we got is this big uh, bulky deck box. It is uh, ver it's it is about one eighth bigger than the old one, the the yellow one. Um, this one costs about four dollars. It, it it is also uh, like a flap seal, I believe. So when it closes, it opens, closes, and opens. Um, there's a lot of room in here. You could probably fit like two decks in here. Probably one deck and a lot of extra side decks. Um, it is a really good deck box, I believe. I believe this one's more t durable than this one, though. So we're gonna move on. Next one we have is this uh, flappy kind of one, which flaps up from up top. From here, um, I got two of these. I have this one, and I also have this one with a princess on it. Um, so this one flaps up. Uh, it comes with this um, uh, divider. Uh, I bought this for about, I believe, five dollars or four dollars. Um, it has a pretty cool design on it. Um, so does this one. This one comes with uh, dividers. Uh, I put sleeves in here to, to hold my sleeves. And uh, I believe this one is uh, a, a step up from uh, these guys, because these guys are just plain, and this guys these guys come with they they feel durable. Um, they have a cool design to it, and they also uh, flap up instead of opening uh, like this. So we're gonna move on to the more expensive deck boxes. This deck box I purchased I, I purchased about two of these deck boxes, and it is the Pro Dual deck box. Basically, I can carry I can carry two decks in here, and um, it it, fl it flips open like that. So it's you know flip open like that. I'll open up the other one for you guys. No, stay open. 
Um, it is a pretty cool looking deck box if you have multiple decks. Um, it is a little bit bulky, but um, it does uh, carry around two deck boxes instead of carrying like these around. I could just carry one big one box around. So they also ha it, it has a really cool design where you slide it open. It can carry about two decks and, and extra decks. Um, it comes with two dividers. I bought this for about six dollars, and I really like this deck box. Um, so I, if you guys have the money, I would definitely buy purchase this deck box because you can carry a deck. Even if you don't have two decks, you can just carry extra decks and sleeves and, and uh, your side decks and whatever decks you whatever extra cards you need in here. And overall, it's a pretty good deck box. I purchased this deck box for about six dollars. Um, it's a pretty good one. So next, I have the one which I use myself for my uh, my tournament decks. Um, I use this uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, dual box thing. This is it is about twelve dollars. Um, it, it 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 feels more compact than this uh, Pro Dual deck box. Um, it for, when you flip it open, uh, first things first. Um, this magnet thing, this this piece right here is a is magnet, so it's not Velcro, it's not tight fit, it's magnet. Um, this deck box carries two um, decks, and you can slide out these panels, so you can uh, pretend uh, you're using this one deck, and you can just close this up, and then you just just slide these out instead. Um, you can also slide these guys out too, so you you also have this uh, variety of rooms. Um, this deck. Uh, box is really cool I believe um, it's really compact that's what I really liked about it and um, it's it's a little bit pricey for a $12 deck box um, but overall it's a uh, it's it's pretty cool I believe um, but if you're on a budget I, I would probably advise you guys to either get this one or this one this one's only six dollars and you get double the price of that so you know it carries two deck boxes versus one all right, so that's basically it for the segment, guys. You know, just uh, leave a comment what you think, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, um, and tell me what you guys think about this match. You like, what, should I like send it back to Troll and Toe? Should I, uh, you know, clean it off or what? Like, just just let me know, and you know, we'll get it started. So thanks, guys, for watching. Please subscribe.